Grandfather. Ah, si grandfather. Yeah. You look sweet, you look fresh, you look a bit cold. against a team that has got so much problems, so many problems. Um, Marumo Kalans, bottom dwellers, right at the bottom of the DSTV Premiership League, the block table. Um, what does it mean to you to play against this game, this team that is so troubled? As we speak, as we speak, their officials are locked up somewhere in Libya. They've got troubles, these guys. They come here with that mentality of saying, yeah, a ground into a town. We want the three points against Kaza Chiefs. Our preparations? Uh, so far, so good. Um, yeah, the boys are working very well. The training. Um, uh, we're looking forward to Kalan Kalansi. Uh, I can't dwell so much with Kalansi with their problems. See for Kase, Giti, click him say last Saturday because we know Guti. We're fighting for a good spot. Go, Kundale, Kulik. What is that good spot that you're fighting for we league and where do you start or where do you continue? Yeah, we continue in the momentum here to like we keep on winning. Uh, no easy game. Every game is a cup final. So we we preparing for we, we three points uh, on Saturday. You've won five in a row. <laughs> yes. That must be a good feeling. Yeah, no, we could move like we move a grand dressing room. It shows uh, the boys are very, are working very hard. Ah, too much. If I move again. And obviously, you guys are on a good run now. You look at you look at the Little Pirates at Super Spectacle and the same number of points are fighting for that second spot. Um, do, do you think that you guys can win all the remaining matches to put yourself in a good chance of the second? Yeah, um, it's not easy to win the whole remaining match but uh, we will try our best we will to win and more especially games that we play playing home uh, we will try to, to to win every game say that I, yeah but they don't gonna be like they don't come easy and what has changed over the last few four or five matches uh, nothing have changed but like I think the, in, everything is all about the mindset you know uh, how, how much you want wanted so yeah uh, I think it's only in mindset. See, yeah. just just on, on your own you personally, you, you made a few mistakes in some of the games earlier in the season and you were out of action for a while, um, sitting on the bench and you came back so strong ever since then you never looked back. Now that you spoke about the mindset, what is it in your mindset that worked for you to find your way back into the starting level? Yeah, uh, obviously it start by, uh, start everything started the training, um, doing my extra, uh, you know, keeping the head up, Uguti, waiting for the opportunity. Obviously, like they say, Uguti, uh, success is when the opportunity meet preparation. So, yeah, I was waiting for that opportunity, Uguti, it's all. Yeah. And also, um, right now, like, it helped me in my mental strength, you know, because these things, they happen to the best players. So, it's not like uh, Kalugan's are now. Just as a follow up to that, obviously you are one of those guys who normally get criticized a lot. Um, how do you deal with this uh, level of criticism? You consult your professional, to your family members, you have support here at the club. How do you deal with people who continuously doubt you and let you do that? Whatever you can take, like you say, you put it in the I think I'm a criticism, it's a part of our business, you know. Yeah, they made us who we are today because of our criticism. So I think they're making us uh, better players, you know. 
because we never been in our comfort zone. So working hard every time, even if we never criticize, we keep going because it's, it's a part of our job over criticize and it makes us better players. In terms of, uh, we have e-training for uh, um, um, <laughs> we have a training obviously for our uh, for a psychology for a psychology like light sheets so uh, we also been taught about the social media so yeah we attend those classes for social media I would say it's not affected in our minds See, I, 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 just, I just need to ask you one thing it's about the current season do you have any friends at sundowns yeah, uh, I have a few friends with Sundowns, but like we're not so we're not close because uh, we I think uh, I'll mention a few players, but uh, Mkwena, um, Bule, because of we played Guma Juniors, uh, we national team. Yes. Yeah. Now they've won the league. They they, they say they are on a seven um, guard of honor run now. What does it say to you that you have not won the league with this big club and looking at new players going into new teams, just lifting up those big titles? It's in the Guinea in the camp when you sit and talk about among each other. When are you guys stopping with Sundowns train? Yeah, for now, uh, I won't dwell much with Sundowns. Congrats uh, on winning the league. Uh, we're only focusing on ourselves, where we can do better in our team you know, to, to find our ourselves winning the league in a row you know yeah so i want to look cool like what is important now it's the game against in maru so yeah coach arthur's one has predicted you a lot um in the start of the season he also said you are the best one-on-one -on -one defender in the league with the fields um how much of an influence does he have on you to keep you you know your spirits high um, you back into the team when you guys were also starting and now you need to just put the of him. Yeah, I would say, um, this guy is, um, I would say, we have a good relationship with Coach Atazon uh, since at a young age, since he coached me when I was young at, at KZ Chief Development. So yeah, he has so much confidence in me. I also have so much confidence in him. I know what he, he expects from the player. Um, I'm doing my best also, you know to not to let him down also the team i'm, I'm just going to go into the match situation because the now is playing this pacey football very quick whether it's to free or it's silent you know once you get the ball you spot them dolly has got a way of identifying their runs and everything it looks like a well orchestrated move I'm, i don't mean to say it in a very wrong way but for defenders defense at Kaiser Chief, for the slower defenders, um, how do you then cope with the pace that the front and the middle attacking midfield is playing with, looking at the, the speed of return in terms of the counter pressing that the other team may do? Technically, how cute, how good up are you in terms of the link between yourselves, defenders, the midfield, the, and the strikers as well? I know as we are taking, they will come back at us. Just take us through the defense mechanisms that you use, Nina, as, as players at the back to keep the fire going, you know, among the whole team members. Okay, um, to get back to your question, Uguti, <laughs> everything, as I said, with everything we do together as I'm a player, uh, we work together, we understand the speed. More special is speed. Uh, that one I will to the technical team. I will credit to Umalu Lega because yes, he's the one who's dealing with physics also about speed and everything and uh, agility. So yeah, I would say it's, it's, we're doing everything together. So we we, we 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 gel. We have team chemistry. We understand each other. So it's become easier. I go my games. The way we play, high tempo. That's what Kojata wants. He high pressing and stuff. So we always need to be on our toes as a defender to protect the space behind. Yeah. I'll tell you why I asked that question. It's yes. simply because you guys are doing it so well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.